Good morning and once again welcome to my YouTube channel Maths with Ease and in this video I want us to learn how to plot graphs under the topic of graph 6 and I want us to explain example 1. Plot the graph of y is equals to x cubed plus 1 with the limits of x or the domain all the way from negative 2 to positive 2. So what we need to have we should have several columns and of course rows we have we need to have a primary variable which is x and then we have x cubed and then we'll have a constant one here and finally we will have y itself and we will explain why i need all this and therefore we have to have the column all these columns x cubed what is one and what is finally y so when x is negative 2, x cubed becomes minus 8, 1 remains 1, and you realize that y is equals to x cubed plus 1. So to the sum of these two, these, these two rows, minus 8 plus 1, we have minus 7. When x is negative 1, we have x cubed being equals to negative 1, minus 1 is still a constant. And the two rows added together will give us a zero. When x is a zero, x cubed is a zero, one is a constant, and the two rows added together will get a one. When x is a one, one cubed is one, and a constant of one, and of course y is the sum of the two rows, which is two. When x is two for that matter, we have two cubed is eight, the constant one remains and the sum of this is 9. So what happens, and I guess this should happen on a graph paper, but for the sake of demonstration is actually going to happen here. Let's have the y-axis and possibly the x-axis. When x is negative 1, negative 2, that is 1 and 1 and 2, and then y is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and even 9, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7, minus 8. So this is negative 1, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, and possibly a 9 there. So you will have it like when x is negative 2, y is negative 7. When x is negative 2, y is negative 7. When x is negative 1, y is 0. When x is 0, um, y, is, y is 1, somewhere there. When x is 1, then y is 2. And when x is 2, y happens to be up there, 9. And you have a graph that looks like this. should be done using freehand. You should not use a ruler. And that is the graph we have been able to plot. The next thing and the final thing we do is to name that graph. Just give it a name. X is equal, y is equal to x cubed plus 1. And that is it. So anytime you are expected to plot graphs, please create a table of values and then... Um, apply those values on a graph paper and that is exactly what should happen. Thank you and let us keep following.